I could not be less interested in the latest reports from the North. I don't think my body is capable of wanting anything less than to sit on that terrible little throne that makes my butt go numb. Just to listen to my dad yell at me for not wanting to burn the fairy woods to the ground. He's always horrible when he's sick, and these days he's sick all the time. No, listen to me. I'm trying to do a good thing here. I'm trying to make the blood loss go away so your friend doesn't get murdered. But that won't happen. He gets us all murdered. The bandage man's here already. Then the king's men will be waiting for us in Southport. We're surrounded. The contact we were supposed to meet at the end of the pipeline is probably already captured. This has all gone to pieces. I'm going to be taken back, my dad's going to die, and he'll make me keep the blood laws alive another generation. Everyone will hate me, and there's no way out. I didn't think. Not really. Not until he said all of that. <laughs> Do you really think that nice fat lady is dead? I look hideous! If this doesn't work, I'm going to have you fed to some horrible forest thing! It's like... <sighs> All my life, I saw these little tensions building. But war always felt like something that happened in history books. Even when I decided to help the Duke's men and leave Pipetown, I never imagined. And now we're a part of it! That's the craziest part of it for me. I really didn't. I thought I'd be like a footnote, a supporting character in the story of the battle between my father and my uncle. But now, depending on who writes the story, I'll be the one who started this whole war. The one who brought down a fairy city in the name of Pipetown, of all things. <laughs> 